If you're new to Quill or coming back after a few months, you might be wondering how to upload Quill art to the Oculus Quest player from the new Smooth Step version of Quill. You can find the Smooth Step version of Quill on the Oculus Store on PC by searching for Quill. If you're on the Quest, you'll need to be tethered to a PC with a link cable if you want to create things in Quill. You won't find Quill on the Quest Store. So here's my Quill scene. It's a simple little winter loop. Everything you see here will translate one-to-one -to, -one to the Quest player. However, there are a few things to watch out for in your own scenes that won't translate as well. First, imported 3D model layers like OBJ files will not work properly. Two, transparency, especially big areas of transparency that take up large areas of the screen will look a lot more grainy. And third, this particular directional opacity setting in the brush settings will not look the same at all. You'll also need to verify that your model meets the minimum required specs in the performance panel. Your file needs to be under 1.5 gigabytes, less than 65 draw calls, under 1.2 million triangles, and 20 sound channels. These bars will fill up as you get closer to the limit. Now I'll prepare my file for a proper theater upload. You want to make sure that viewers have a nice vantage point of the scene. You can do this by creating spawn areas. Every quill scene has an initial spawn area, but we're going to make new ones. To make a spawn area, place yourself in a nice area of the scene and then press this button here. Your spawn area will match your current view. Click this button on the left of the layer to access the spawn area settings and give it a thumbnail to make it easier to keep track of. If you check initial spawn point here, it will set this as your new initial spawn point, which is what people will see when they first load up your scene. I'm going to delete my initial one from before. I'm going to create a few more spawn areas now using the same process. There are a few other things you can do with your spawn areas. In the spawn area settings, you can switch between eye level and floor level. With eye level, the viewer's head will always land in the middle of the ring you've created. No matter how tall or how short somebody is, they'll always get the same experience. Floor level will use the guardian settings to place the bottom of the ring on their floor. This means if you're sitting or standing, taller or shorter, your view and experience may vary. One last thing you can do is place transform keys on the spawn areas if you want to move them around. This can be a bit risky because the movement can make some people feel nauseous. So be cautious if you plan to move people's spawn areas. You can preview how your scene will look on the theater by pressing this triangle button here. If you don't like the order of the spawn points, you can rearrange the layers in the hierarchy and that will change them on the theater. Next, save your file, and then go to Export, 3D Model, and switch to the setting IMM. Now, go to your web browser and visit creator.oculus.com. If you've never been here before, you'll have to log in with your Facebook or Oculus account and then sign up as an individual or an organization. As part of the sign-up process, you'll need to link to some of your artwork from the past and then write in the description that you plan to upload Quill work. Enter that info and then hit continue. I don't know how long the approval process is, but I think it's normally pretty quick. Once that's up and running, you can navigate to your library where you'll see everything you've uploaded, their views, their statistics, etc. Click the Upload button at the top, and then drag in your IMM file. You'll need to give your piece a title, a description, and also upload a thumbnail slash banner. If you have a trailer, you can also upload that. At the bottom of this page, you can find the publishing options, which you can use to make your piece either public or unlisted, or you can keep it as a draft. 
Something to keep in mind though, is that every piece has to go through approval before it goes up, including unlisted pieces. If you save the piece as a draft, it will show up for you on the Oculus Quest, but nobody else. So you can still find your own works. By going to the Oculus page for each illustration, you can find a direct link that you can send people so that they can open in VR. But again, keep in mind this link will only work for pieces that are either published or published unlisted. This piece will be linked in the description below if you want to check it out. Thanks!